Hi everyone, it's Linda and I thought I'd pop back today with another uh, demonstration for you for this pretty gift box. I think we're on the lead up to Christmas now and obviously gift boxes can be used whenever but I just think nice to be sharing maybe a few ideas that you could actually use for your Christmas gift wrapping. Okay, um, so I just wanted to highlight that I'm using some lovely Glimmer Hot Foil plates um, from Amazing Paper Grace. The one I've used for this box is the Fanfare Border Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. I'm going to be using a, um, a different one for, for my box demonstration today, but I just wanted to show you that because I think it looks lovely. And I do think that foiling looks extra special on gift boxes. Okay, so I'm going to put this to one side and I'm going to show you how you can put it together. I do hope you enjoy today's tutorial and thanks for joining me. So I think the best place to start, rather than getting on and scoring the boxes, I'm going to show you how I'm going to foil this and I'm going to introduce you to this beautiful um, background glimmer hot foil plate. So this one is another one from um, the Delicate Impressions collection by Amazing Paper Grace and this one is called the Diamonetta Background um, Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. Okay and just show you here the detail. I think it's absolutely stunning. So out of the whole collection of the, these particular hot foil plates this one is actually my favourite. I do love this one. So I'm just going to show you now um, how to create the band that's going to go on the front of the box. So I have here a piece of uh, pink cardstock and I'll just tell you what this is actually in case you are interested. So this is Petal Pink Matastic Adorable Scorable Cardstock and I will try to leave a link for this on my blog page. So this piece has been cut down at two and a quarter by five and three quarters. Okay, I am actually going to be cutting it down further so that I end up with roughly a two inch um, deep piece. So I've got here my glimmer hot foil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it like that and then if I do set it there so you can see the edge of this, I'm going to pop this with this bubbly side. So you've got like an open side here, you've got a bubbly side there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pop that on there so that those pieces are right on the edge and then I'm just going to grab a piece of washi tape to hold this in, in place so I can foil it So if I just hold that in place there, and then I'll just fold that bit round there. But um, let's take that around the back. So you can see that these are right up here against the edge of this pink cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Glimmer Hot Foil system. I've got it warming up here over on the side. Okay, so to use this system, you switch it on and you wait for this light here to go green. Okay, and then once it's green, I'm putting my plate on the system so that the card the card is facing me. Okay, so the points to remember is when you put the, the um, plate actually down, you've got the nice coloured side of your card foil meeting the um, foil plate as you place it face down ready to foil. So I'm just waiting now for this to go green and once it has you put these plates on so you've got this like an opaque plate and then you've got a clear top plate. Okay Okay. so now this light has gone green I'm placing it down with the, with the foiling plate going down first onto there and then I'm popping these on and then I'm setting the timer which will flash. Once it stops flashing, this is ready to put through my Platinum 6. So this um, Glimmer Hot Foil system, if you like, is an add-on so to the uh, Platinum 6 from Spellbinders. So I'm just going to get bring that over and get that set up. Okay, so now it's stopped. This is now ready to feed through the Platinum 6 machine. So let's pop that to one side. 
so this is just going to sit on here like this and I'm just going to feed it through and then I'm going to bring it back So if you're worried about burning yourself, then um, just use those. They I meant to say they've got um, like a magnetic um, point on the back. So I'll just open this. And there you go, it's beautifully foiled. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to just cut it down slightly. Okay, so I'm going to start with this side and I'm just going to line it up and cut it so that we've got these along here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do mirror that on the other side. Okay, so that's my piece now ready to go onto the front of um, my box. But before I do that, just going to mount it on a piece of gold. And this gold measures um, two and a quarter inches by five and three quarters. So I'm just going to get that stuck down. Right then, so you need a piece of cardstock that measures 11 and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And on the long side, you're going to start by scoring at one and a quarter inches. at one and three quarters, at five, at six and a quarter, at nine and a half, and at ten. And then on the short side, you're going to score at one and a quarter, and at seven. And that's all your scoring done. Okay, now it gets interesting. So you're going to have to be careful with what you cut out. So we're going to start here at this edge Okay, and what we're going to be cutting out here is this square and this one here. Okay, I'm doing the same on this side, so you've got this narrow band here left and you do cut it slightly differently the other end. Okay, so that's that end. Actually, you can cut down, I should have said, to that second school line. I'm just looking at my template now. I'm having to remind myself because I made this a little while ago. So down to that next school line. Okay, so you've got these two. And then obviously we're going to cut up these score lines here on each side. So we've got one there and one here. And the same on the opposite side. Okay, so it's looking like that. Now, for the other end, 
you are going to just be removing this square and the little adjacent piece there. Okay, so you're going to cut all the way down to that second score line. And then you're just going to cut these two sections away. And I'm just going to go ahead now and burnish all of my score lines. So start with that one. Okay. So now, before we go any further, I'm going to punch some, some holes and set some eyelets at the top. So, for that, I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers um, eyelet. Um, I don't know if it's... it's a cropper dial, I think it is, actually. I'm not very good at remembering these things, but I'll be putting links um, on my on my blog post. Okay, so what we're doing with this one is I'm using some large eyelets for this. Okay, and I'm going to be using the bigger of the holes. So this one is um, 3 sixteenths of an inch, the other one is um, 1 eighth of an inch. So we're looking at using the bigger one. I set my um, cropper back here uh, so I'm, I've got an inch there, which means I'm going to do it by eye. I'm just coming in roughly halfway and just punching a hole on each corner. So we'll start by doing that. Doing it by eye, but it looks roughly about in the centre there. And then I'm going to do the same at this end. Then I'm just going to take each of my eyelets, pop them in here. I'm just going to take my cropper dial now. I'm going to put that in the top there. So the nozzle bit, the long bit that's poking down, goes over the centre of the eyelet. And then I'm just going to apply some pressure to set it. Like that. Okay. I'm going to do that on each piece, or each hole. <laughs> if you're staying. You have to apply a little bit of brute force with this. Okay, and they're all nicely set now, so it's just a question of assembling the box. So these bits come in first, then you're going to bring up the sides, and you'll find that you've got like a little fold here. So this is the bit that needs to be on the outside where you've got like this little piece here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of double sided tape on each of these points here. Okay, and just remember that this side gets stuck down, that this side here will get stuck down last, so you're going to bring up the opposite one and just make it nice and straight there along the side. We'll do the same with this one. Okay. And then we're ready to bring this one over. And for this one, I'm just going to put some tape here and here to make it nice and secure. Okay. 
Okay, you want this section here to fold out this way. Okay, so let's just fold that that way so that it comes together like that. Okay, and ready now just to stick my panels on. Okay, so I've got a panel to go on the front and I've also got a panel to go on the back. So this is the back of the box, so I'm just going to get that stuck down. You might only want to decorate the front of your box, which is what I did with this one actually. Okay, and I think it looks fine. You can you can do what you like. Um, but with this one, I've decided to make up an extra panel and do the front and the reverse of the box. So let's just pop this down roughly in the centre here. And straight, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so that's that side, and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. I sound like Craig Rutherford, don't I? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there you go, and I just think it's absolutely pretty. It looks really classy. I do think it's a beautiful um, foil plate, that one just need now to do do it up with some ribbon so that where are we looking that's the back of the box there's the back seam okay so I'm going to feed my ribbon through from the back here around and make your bow look extra special and not a bit like this one. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm going to just leave it at that I think and just trim off some excess. And I think that that looks really lovely. So I went to town on this one. Um, the background that you see here has actually been done on watercolour card and I've used some pretty watercolours from Jane Davenport. Did a mix there on the back and then I foiled it. Okay, but with this one I decided I didn't really want to do the watercolour. I just think it looks simply stunning like this. I do hope you like it. It's a really nice little box that one. Um, it finishes up measuring. Let me get my ruler. So it's about five and three quarters wide. And this point here, which is where, where you will obviously fill it, is three and a quarter inches. And in sort of total, it's probably about five, five inches tall. Okay, so anyway, that's my, my little um, demonstration for you today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll join me for my next one. Thanks, and bye for now.